what's going on everybody? So I wanted to make a video that was separately explaining the three core aspects that are inextricably linked in Qigong practice. Those three core aspects being proper posture based largely on spinal alignment during static postures or movement. The second being deep breathing which is scientifically coined embryonic breathing, but in Qigong, we call it Dan Tien breathing. And the third and final aspect, which is the Eastern understanding of visualization, is the closest Western word that we could use. Perhaps visualization could be described from an Eastern perspective as exercising the imagination. So when we exercise the imagination from the Western perspective, we, for example, hold the image of an apple in our mind. And this is what a Westerner would understand visualizing something to be. But in the Eastern way of thinking, exercising the imagination, it really becomes much more than imagination the more you study neuro-linguistic programming and other psychological practices. For example, when athletes visualize themselves being victorious, they imagine the look or the feeling on their face after achieving the victory that they're seeking or training towards. So we take that same way of thinking that these athletes use to prepare their own psychology and neural pathways for being victorious and what it's going to take to achieve that and we use it to visualize drawing up the earth chi. Piercing it into the heavens, mixing the heaven chi into the body with the earth chi, healing, invigorating, and renewing all the way down to the deepest part. Embryonic breathing is very simple. So I'll take you through the embryonic breathing definition, and then I'll take you through the Dantian breathing definition, or practice. In embryonic breathing, also known as belly breathing, we're inhaling through the nose, expanding the belly, and exhaling, collapsing the belly towards the spine. That is quite literally the scientifically coined definition of the term embryonic breathing. Now, in the Chinese system, we're dealing with the energetic anatomy. So Dantian breathing being a Qigong practice can't possibly be separated from the three core aspects of visualization, proper posture, of proper posture, embryonic of proper posture, deep breathing, and visualization. So that being said, when we're doing the Dantian breathing practice, we're inhaling, drawing the chi up through our feet or the root of the spine, all the way up and around the crown past the third eye, connecting the circuit with the tongue, exhaling, into the Dantian, fresh chi into the Dantian. So we inhale, draw that earth chi up, 
Sink that heaven chi down. Now they believe unless the tongue is connecting the circuit, then the chi is not allowed to flow freely like a waterfall would back to the Dantian. In addition to this, each move in Qigong, you are supposed to be practicing the microcosmic orbit, which is drawing Qi out of the Dantian or from the Dantian, the core of the body, around the root, where it mixes with the earth Qi that we're drawing up the spine. Passing the crown where it mixes or gathers with the heaven chi. And then is exhaled through the connection that the tongue creates for the circuit to be completed back to the original reservoir of chi that it was drawn from. And then spinal alignment is quite easy to understand, but not exactly easy to achieve. And that's because a lot of people don't know how to stretch their crown up properly. You can find the direction of the crown best by tucking the chin in um, rather dramatically actually and feeling the stretch behind the ears in the back of the neck. If you feel that stretch in the back of the neck, that is the direction towards the crown. But you don't want to keep your chin tucked into your chest because that will collapse this area in the neck and make it more difficult for you to breathe. So find the direction that the crown is stretched into and then straighten up the neck while maintaining that stretch up in the back of the neck. And then you can practice tucking the tailbone. This will allow you to actually breathe in slightly more deep if you do it properly by sinking into the stance, relaxing, relaxing the musculature in the glutes and the lower abdomen area as we expand for the inhale. We have an extra little bit down there that's cushiony and relaxed for our organs to relax further into as our lungs expand and we practice developing the capacity of our inhales. Thank you very much for watching.